My name's Guido Bowen. I am a twin brother. I am a godfather. Um, and I used to be a learning support assistant before MES. MES is the Ministry Experience Scheme. It's a scheme that's run in a lot of dioceses in the Church of England. It's designed to give young people who are exploring their vocation, exploring what God is calling them into, the opportunity to have some practical experience, to dedicate themselves over a course of a year to be able to actualise and begin to explore in much more tangible ways the ways in which God's calling them. I was going to be the intern in Brussels, where, which is very much a French-speaking city. I was concerned about whether that would be a barrier because it's Church of England, most of the liturgy is going to be in English and most of the people that come through the doors are English speakers. That's part of the reason they're attracted to those chaplaincies. In terms of the financial remuneration, because of the type of work, there isn't a specific visa that British citizens can apply for, which means that we have to go as tourists. And that means because we are in Schengen in Europe often, we can only spend 90 days in any 180 day period. In those intermediary days, I was here in the parishes of Hydney and the Hampton Park and Willingdon, being able to fulfill my placement requirements in this context. After that, after Easter, I then came back to Europe and had a further 90 days. During Thy Kingdom Come, we linked up. I was leading it in Holy Trinity, Brussels, and I was able to link up with St. Mary's Hampton Park, and we sort of beamed them in. And so we were able to share it together, and Father Danny had sent in a video of him reading the gospel, and so we got a real sense of being connected. And that's a connection that wasn't here in this church beforehand, but for me, having gone to Europe and being the recipient of so many blessings, I suppose it allowed me to become an agent of blessing so that the lessons that I learned in Europe, I could bring back here. And likewise, all that I have learned and loved here, I could bring to Europe too. And it's something that I've really cherished, having the opportunity to explore and be an MES intern, both in England and also in Brussels. So in terms of how this scheme has helped me to discern uh, how I've understood what God is calling me into, my vocation as it were. I suppose there's a sense in which by having this practical experience, by being a public recognised minister in this way, I was able to hear the perspective of the wider church in terms of how they saw the ways in which God had equipped me. So whether it was after a sermon, I would hear from people who would tell me, that was a really great sermon that really impacted me in this way, you're really gifted. One of the things that came up was they would point out how I sign a lot when I preach. I was previously a learning support assistant and used Makaton quite often. And so I incorporated that unknowingly, sort of subconsciously into my preaching. But it was something people picked up on. And that's a real gift, they said. So I leant into it and saw how that could be a way of engaging people. That recognition, that affirmation of the gifts that God has given me has allowed me to say and to affirm and to continue to want to explore a call to ordain priestly ministry. That process of discernment isn't fully encapsulated in the MES year, but it's something that happens before and something that continues afterwards. So that was something that really, really helped. There's a sense in which MES is really for all sorts of vocations. It's giving you that space to get the opportunities and the experience to understand the ways in which God's calling you and your understanding of the ways that God works in and through you. So MESS is not just for people thinking about priesthood. It could be people who are wanting to explore youth ministry or children's ministry or chaplaincy work, hospital chaplaincies. All vocations are welcome in MESS. I'm probably going to be quoting experiences I've had on MES for many, many years to come. I think it's going to be a real milestone in my journey of faith and also in my process of discernment.